Reolink are probably my favourite camera brand out there. No, this is not an ad. They have affordable cameras with great features and they don't make you pay a subscription fee to do anything useful. They play incredibly well with Home Assistant and crucially, they're very privacy focused. So much so that they don't actually have a native option to see camera snapshots in notifications from your cameras because that would involve sending the snapshots to a cloud server, potentially compromising your privacy. Something which other brands have been caught out for doing even though they claimed they would never do so. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through a way to use their excellent Home Assistant integration to get notifications when you want them with those sweet, sweet snapshots. Hi, I'm James and I've been building out my smart home for years with products from just about every manufacturer out there, figuring out what works and what doesn't. Quick sidebar, if I may have a few seconds of your time, I just wanted to mention that this portion of the video here was going to be sponsored, but unfortunately it didn't work out because I didn't want to compromise this short video to the extent that they were asking. I turned down a little bit of money to give you the best content possible. So if you do end up finding this video helpful, please consider supporting the channel in any way that you can using the links over on my website. It would be a huge help to me. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So the first thing to make clear here is that in order to achieve this, you are going to have a Home Assistant server set up. If you haven't and you want to know the best way, check out my video up here somewhere on ways that I recommend setting one up. The next requirement is to have the Home Assistant app set up on your phone or target device. You also, of course, need to make sure that you have the camera in question set up within Home Assistant, which is actually super simple for Reolink cameras. I think they were even discovered automatically on my LAN. So now that you've got Home Assistant running and the app installed, you're going to want to create an automation to send yourself a notification to your chosen device under the desired conditions. As an aside, the bonus to all this extra effort is that you can be much more clever about when you receive these notifications than the Reolink app can do on its own because you can have way more data in Home Assistant to draw upon. For example, you can do something like, send me a notification when a person is detected on a camera, but only if I'm away from home and the person was also detected on a motion sensor in the same room, which reduces notifications when you are home or false positives for human detection when you're away. For now, I'll simply set up a person detected as the trigger. As I mentioned, you can put whatever conditions you like here, and then we'll head straight to the notification action. In the actions, search for notification and be sure not to get confused by the different options here as this one generates a notification within Home Assistant which doesn't go to your device. So watch out for that. You want this one here with your device name included or this one which will go to anyone with the app who's logged into your Home Assistant instance. Now we simply set the title and message for the notification and move on down to the data section. In here, we're gonna start off by pasting in this chunk of code which I'll put down in the video description. And then I'll talk you through what to set for each part of this. So the main parts you might want to change are the URL, which is where you will go in the app when you tap the notification. Mine just goes to the main dash as I have my doorbell camera shown on there already, so I can see that right away. To find the URL for where you want this link to go, open up Home Assistant in your web browser, navigate to where you want to go to, and copy everything after the first slash. The other part you'll need to change is the entity ID. This needs to be the entity ID of the camera that you want a snapshot from. So you can either go and find that in the camera in Home Assistant or start typing what you think it's called and you'll probably see it suggested. And that's it. When this automation triggers, you should see the snapshot from the camera at that moment. And as an extra bonus, you can even hold this notification on iOS at least and get quick access to the live view or tap it to go to the URL that we defined in the notification action. Then you can of course set up versions of this notification for each camera that you desire, either as separate automations or all bundled into one using the trigger ID and a choose action to decide which one gets sent. So that's all for this quick video. If you still wanna know the best way to get Home Assistant up and running, I suggest you check out the video on screen somewhere. And if you found this video helpful, please consider supporting the channel in any way you can using the links over on my website and make sure that you are subscribed for future videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and remember, home is where the smart is.